away from the 1800 meter marker, early detection helps prolong a life. Bold boundary slips into the lead, slides across, gets into the front by a length and a quarter. Ikembu La Besipazane towards the inside, joined by Red Hot Chili Girl. The blue's going to move around. They're just inching along. Bold boundary is just idling along in front. No speed records at all. Maxime Dumont has the shadow roll. The white sheepskin nose band on the outside. Belly good towards the inside is fifth. A rhino addressed. Celtic Crystal is the trailer. You can throw a blanket over this field, moving towards the 1100 meter zone. Absolutely crawling. Bold boundaries by three quarters of a length. Red hot chili girl is right there in second. Ikembu La Besipazane, yellow silks to the paint. Maxine Dumont's going to try and inch a little bit closer past the 800. Barely good towards the inside. A Ryan of Adras has four lengths to make up. Celtic Crystal sees the whole field coming to the 600 zone. Bold boundary still in front by a length. Look at Maxine Dumont on the right hand side, makes an early move. Red Hot Chili Girl. Ikembu La Besipazane is between them, trying to close in a Ryan of Adras. Maxine Dumont on the right hand side is coming forward a length to make up. Belly Goods on the inside, but as they come inside the distance, Maxine Dumont comes at bold boundaries. Ikembu La Besipazane is on the inside. A Ryan of Adras is getting into it. Maxine Dumont, her heart's now got a takeover from her legs and she does just that. Ikembu La is second. Those are the top two going past the post. Third position, bold boundaries and then maybe a Ryan of Adras. As they started to sweep the turn, you would have seen that jockey Key in the Mellow was wide awake. He started to get into Maxine Dumont into the striking position will get the victory today. Ends up the toad favourite at 2 Rand 70. Ikembo Labe Safana is second. Bold boundaries. Ryan of Adras. Belly Goods on the inside. Let's just get to Maxine de Mondia, owned by Mark Dixon. State late Rousseau bred. Ideal world, Keegan de Mello. Ikembu La Besipazane is on the inside, looking to run on Orion of Adras. But once Maxine Dumond found top gear, kicked into overdrive the last furlong, asked for more, she found that extra. Back to the studio. Maxine Dumond has got it all right at the 18th time of asking. She is a mare by Ideal World, trained by Mark Dixon and confidently ridden to victory by Keegan DeMello. She's also owned by Mark Dixon and the gentleman that looks after her at home to see that she's fed and watered is Lucky Masebu. Well done to you, Lucky. On behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle, well done. Thank you. Keegan. Mark is the owner, he's the trainer. Make sure he takes you and the missus for dinner because uh, you've done him proud here. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, as I say, every win I have for Mr. Dixon is very special. Um, he's been with me for, for a very long time and um, you, you, you don't find support like that very often and I'm just really grateful to, to have the backing of Mr. Dixon. You must have nerves of steel because you could get grumpy at times. Not to me. <laughs> I think Haley's got to deal with that. But um, <laughs> no, all jokes aside, Mr. Dixon's very... Very good to me, and um, yeah, he's done a lot for me. Well, well done. Maxine Dumont, she's taken her time, but they've earned along the way and had some fun. Uh, just a question maybe I shouldn't ask. Could she burgle another one, or is, he, is she at her top now? Look, I think myself and Mr. Dixon were discussing it now. Um, if she ran second, I don't think we would have been very disappointed. Um, but um, nice to get ahead in front. Um, she's been a, a very consistent filly. Um, don't know from where we go from here, but um, 
I'm sure Mr. Dixon will, will have a plan with her. And um, yeah, just full credit to the filly. She, she put her ears back today and she, she really wanted to win. Well done. You've got one more ride. I think Heart Seas, is that right? Yeah, Heart Seas. Um, she's trying the trip for the first time. Uh, if all goes well, she could sneak a place. Um, it's, it's not uh, easy for um, a young filly going over the trip um, against the old horses, but um, she's a nice filly and uh, hoping for the best. And before I leave, just full credit to Mr. Dixon and the team and um, to their family. Thank you very much. Hayley, back at home. Well done. Spot on, Keegan. Thank you. Lovely. Always lovely talking to Keegan DeMiller. Come on, Mark. Let's have a chat. Uh, I'm sure you heard I've set you up now. You have to take Keegan and his <laughs> missus for a, a lovely meal somewhere, seeing that you're the owner. And uh, just to talk about Keegan, you and him, you and him have had a relationship uh, and friendship for a long time. Yeah, no, we always, <clears throat> I took a liking to him as a young apprentice who was hard working and you could have seen from early days that he could ride, you know, and uh, he's done really well for himself. And I always put him on um, our horses uh, when I can get him, when Dean's not using him. So, no, he's a big asset to the stable. As I, I pose the same question to Keegan, she's won well today, and but she's earned along the way, but she's, like the whole field, limited. You're just going to assess, maybe give her another run or two, see where you're going? Yeah, look, she, she is limited, but she's always there or thereabouts. When they're at the maidens now, it's obviously going to get more, more difficult. But um, I must say a big thank you to Shirley, her St. Helia stud. I mean, she lost poor Sid in, through COVID, and she didn't want to keep all her horses, and she didn't really know what to do with her. I said, well, you know, Lisa to me, and fortunately for me since then, she, she really hasn't been out the money. So um, she's, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to have her. Mark, you've got one or two runners, I think, still to come that have got a bit of a chance. Made in France, to, what are you expecting? Made in France, I think, will run a big race today. And Ice Tea, it's her first run for me. It's a bit sharp for a mile on the poly. So, but uh, I think Made in France will run a big race, yeah. Lovely chatting, and let's hope we talk again later, Mark. Thanks, Lovely, Mark Dixon. Always lovely to talk to Mark. He's the trainer, he's the owner, and uh, yeah, bred by late Sid Rousseau. Ideal world mayor Keegan DeMello has done the duty.